So, flawless widescreen is used with a lot of games in order to rectify their issues with 21 by 9 so I thought it important that I explain exactly how to use the software for those of you new to it, as I refer to it quite a bit, and I can certainly say you have nothing to worry about. It's lovely and simple and very clear on how to use it. So first of all, download it via the link in the description. Then you want to go and install it and run it and now you will come to this screen, which is the screen you'll always be dealing with from now on. Now for a quick explanation of what each section shows. On the left you have the list of games that have fixes and these are divided into two sections. Games whose plugins you've installed and games whose plugins you have not. However, if you have only just launched the software then you'll only have games in the available plugin section, obviously. You won't have anything installed. Now click a game and you'll see this screen appear on the right after it's downloaded the plugin. And this is your settings and explanation screen. On the far right you can read the detailed description on what the fix or fixes do for that game. And on the left of that is the other bit that you need to care about. And this is the enable and disable tick box or boxes. Some games have different fixable options and you can take them on and off depending on which you want. So here in Alien Isolation you have access to a basic fix for the game for 21x9 and then you have a HUD fix which is actually just needed for NVIDIA users and so AMD users should not need to have the HUD fix ticked. Now for games like Mass Effect 2 and GTA 5 there are a great number of separate options to choose from like FOV sliders and many optional fixes allowing you to affect only what you want. Now there are a few things to watch out for. The majority of these fixes work in game, so have the software up and running and then start your game and you can tab out and use flawless widescreen to change stuff. So you could change your FOV, up and down, tab back in, is it right, and then you can tab back out and increase it or decrease it depending on what you want and it should change in game at the exact moments that you're changing it. However, and it should say in the description usually, some fixes need a game restart which is more annoying because you don't usually know what settings you want so you're just flicking between them so restarting the game every time you change a setting can be a bit annoying but there's nothing you can do about it. But the point is, is if you're trying to fix a game and the fix doesn't appear to be applying to the game, restart the game and hopefully that will mean that the fix is applied once you've restarted and you're back in. Now the last thing to be aware of is online play. I have never had an issue but it is still always possible that fixes will cause you to be accused of modding in online times and be banned from them. I can tell you from personal experience I have played games like GTA 5 with the fix enabled and never had a problem but it's always a possibility to watch out for. Now the only other area of the software to care about is the settings menu where you need to check that your Steam and Origin detection is correct and the software is looking into the right directories. But it should automatically detect all the games, it's just something to be aware of in case games aren't affected by your plugins. Um, just check if you're not getting your games to be fixed by it, just check that these lookups are correct and if not then that should be the issue and you just fix those. Anyway, I hope that's something of use to those of you who are new to Flawless Widescreen, and I hope that this fantastic software can help you out as much as it has helped me for any of my ultra-wide issues. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe for future info. For anything else 21x9, be sure to check out my channel, hopefully I've covered it. If I haven't, then leave a comment down below and I'll try and cover it. See you later.